Hey everyone, it's Erin with Hale Varsity. I am outside of Memorial Stadium. We've just wrapped up another week of Nebraska Fall Camp and I am by myself. Usually I have Greg with me, so I'm gonna do my best to provide all of the updates, give you some thoughts, but be sure to head over to HaleVarsity.com for even more from post-practice. If you're looking for all the recaps from the week, anything that you know could be missed in these videos, please head to Hale Varsity. It is a very busy week. Uh, right now, it feels a little bit quiet, but you might be able to hear in the background some different noises because everyone is getting ready for Garth Brooks, which is set for uh, Saturday night at Memorial Stadium. Uh, Coach Frost even said he's going to be at the concert. He's gonna be sitting in his box, made a joke that he's actually never been able to sit in his box before so he will be there he uh, actually gave some updates on his favorite Garth Brooks songs uh, but yeah exciting exciting time around Memorial Stadium right now in fact just on the other side of this camera I'm watching people work uh, but in on, in addition to that Nebraska actually had a second pseudo scrimmage if you will on Friday that was something that we knew was coming uh, Coach Frost did not give us an idea previously, but we know Nebraska scrimmaged on Sunday. He felt like the team was ready for it today. They did have Big Ten officials available today. Uh, he said, you know, they saw a couple more flags and they were ready to see, but or that they wanted to see, I should say. But they felt pretty good overall. He felt like the team was ready for it, but it wasn't it wasn't a full scrimmage like Sunday. It was more of a pseudo uh, scrimmage in the sense that there were some opportunities to put them into live. Uh, situations but there was a lot of like live mock situations so it was a good day for them to kind of see what what's going on but also not you know go too intense with a scrimmage because Nebraska is going to be getting into Illinois game prep we are just about two weeks away at this point and that means game prep has to begin so they are going to get started on that sooner than earlier and I'm guessing we'll hear more about that in the week to come now a question that I know a lot of people had is what about the tight ends? We didn't see a couple of them at practice on Wednesday in the period of time we got to. He wasn't, Coach Frost didn't want to give too many specifics. He said players are just nicked up, those players being Travis Vokalek and Austin Allen, but they said that they've had the ability to move over some guys like uh, Chancellor Brewington over into the tight end spot to help out and give them some reps. So he, he didn't go into specifics. He didn't tell us timetables. He didn't tell us how long those players will be out, but he overall didn't seem concerned with either felt like both would be back fairly soon so for those wondering for more specifics on those potential injuries or reasons that they're out coach frost didn't want to get into the details too much but he did say that they were without them for right now so that is going to be a room that we'll keep an eye on he he did make a comment that in most fall camps the tight end position is one that tends to get nicked up pretty early in camp and so hopefully that they they can get those those players back fairly quickly as we start to see them transition into game prep for Illinois. As for other things, uh, he did talk about it. He did provide an update on vaccination rates for the team. He said he feels better about where the team is today than he did two weeks ago. With that said, it can still be improved upon. They've brought in multiple speakers. In fact, he said four different speakers have come in to talk with the team. And that is something that he does feel is a competitive advantage, you know, based on what that advantage looks like going into the season, but the best chance for a successful full season is to have the team vaccinated. So that's something I'm sure he'll continue to provide updates on. He didn't give a number, but he did say he felt better today than he did two weeks ago. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's always easier when you have someone like Greg or Jacob uh, standing next to you to keep talking with. I wish this was live with you so I could be having a direct conversation, but I do wanna say, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, whether that's on YouTube, Facebook. You can also tweet at me at Aaron Sorensen. It, you know, Fridays are always sort of the like, let's get all of the news out there from Coach Frost. So it kind of feels like an information dump, but that's okay. It's been a it's been a busy week. We'll be back at it uh, next week for another <laughs> another week of fall camp for Nebraska. But game day is getting closer. I mean, next week is the last official week of fall camp before they transition into that first week of school. So it's going to be here before we know it. I don't think I'm forgetting anything, but if I am, please head to hailvarsity.com. We'll have our full practice report, which will have more information on the tight end situation. It also lists all of the different notes that I had listening to Coach Frost. And of course, we'll have more to come over the weekend at hailvarsity.com. You can actually go become a subscriber today. Uh, you not only get access to all of our premium online content, but you also get our our magazine, which our August issue is gonna be hitting newsstands before you know it. So I really recommend you go check that out. Thank you as always for watching. I really appreciate it. 
next week when I'm back. Hopefully I have Greg or Jacob with me. But for now, this has been your update here at Hill Varsity. Go check out hillvarsity.com and I'll talk to you later.